Hello guys, so today's video comes from the large, this is $300 uh, tournament, three players remaining, first place 126,000 USD, so over here we have uh, Smil with 41 big clients and San with 28 big clients and Mixon with 14 big clients, so I'm just gonna leave it to play and we will take a look at uh, how this spot would be played with the whole range so a little poker analyze so i'll see you guys in a few took a chance says the chip leader then we traded it back and forth queens for the chip leader it raises for two million jacks oh my goodness for mixing Oh, God. 14 big blinds. Got to imagine all the chips will be getting in pretty shortly. All in, all in from mixing with the jacks. And big slick for Son? Big slick. Three-handed versus Queens and Jax. And he rips it. Oh, my God. Eight calls. Three-way all in, Rick. It could be over right now. Are you kidding me? To build a main pot. So, very sick situation where people having jacks, queens, and ace king. But let's take take a deeper dive into how this spot uh, should be played. So, this is a solve for this spot. So, button smill is supposed to be opening 43% uh, of the hands. A little bit jamming here and there as uh, he is covering both and small blind is a short stack. So, kind of like pressuring a big blind so you do see a little bit uh jamming coming in but the smell opened up with a min raise so we check on a small blind strategy over here there is not really any calling happening you have 14 big blinds you're not really supposed to be calling out of position in this type of uh situation so you could make argument of like maybe choose a smaller three betting size and go a little bit uh, more with none all in with top of your range you do get some uh, some bluffs in there as well but he did choose to jam he's very happy to jam with jacks i mean your top of your range uh, button is still opening wide range of hands so let's see what uh, is big blind supposed to be calling now so big blind's calling range is actually very wide as well or like somewhat wide because small blind is jamming wide, right? Small blind is supposed to be jamming pretty much all the A6, all the suite of Broadway, suite of 9X, some off suite Broadway, all the bears. And as small blind is already all in, you're not really uh, that much worried about button. Keep in mind, button range is still going to be very wide. So you kind of get it uh, going to get it in Ace 10 no, Ace 9 suite and pocket fives plus. And he did jam ace king which is like totally normal like what else can you do you have ace king three-handed a lot of money up top that's what you want to do you want to just get it in and win and for the button because now you face all in from the small blind and the big blind now you do see like uh, this type of range is getting a little tight uh you're not supposed to be calling uh, with ace jack anymore and sixes and it does make sense because like ace then uh, is pretty much the bottom for the uh, big blind and big blind still still has like 28 big blinds right so it's not like your price is getting uh so great at this point but well if you have queens obviously you are supposed to be getting it in and try to win the tournament on the spot if you're somebody who's looking to crush your final tables, go ahead to the BBC Bokers website and get ICM Preflop Masterclass as that will teach you exactly how to play in final tables. Link in the description. What can I do, huh? It's a pretty set up hand. <laughs> I almost hold it, but I, I think uh, I gotta go. I the queen's hold, hold here, it's over. I'm ready. I cannot do nothing, eh? Yeah, I mean. 
I almost folded, but I, I, You're about to fold, I think right? that's, yeah, I was thinking about it. All right, so this is 15, nine. 72.6 million. There is a side pot. Lodge Car Club, mini monster. $300 buy-in. Somebody could be walking away with 125 grand after final table Kev brings us five. Shades of the last tournament when Joel had a hand like yes. this. Yes. Vixen at risk. As is Zahn. So there is a side pot. This is the Perfect. And you two have a side pot, of course. Let's go, Kevin. One time. Jack out there. Let's go. Queen's fine. Everybody's asking for a lot. Yeah. There's the king for San. Uh, the king. Do you have 10 back there? Smile already, willing to pay. Nine, put a nine out there. Put a nine out there, Kev. Take a small cap, please. Oh. Yep. Wow. San and Mixon is eliminated. Two pair kings and tens. We will play on. Heads up. What a hand. Good hand, son. <laughs> Good hand, son. That was the hand right there, man. That was the hand. That was the hand right there. Are these three ways? Big slick queens and jacks? Just like that. I'm happy. So, San did get lucky, hit his king, scoops the bot. He did went out, uh, on and win the whole tournament for uh, 122,000 USD. Mixon got dirt for 58,000 USD. And Smil ended up on the second place with 74,000 for his troubles playing this tournament. Anyways, guys, if you did like this video, smash that like button, subscribe comment let me know if you like this type of uh, videos and i will see you guys on the next one take care everybody